question in regard to that. Uh, we had a guy on from Chicago yesterday that uh, they were so excited when Jay Cutler got there. You played with Jay Cutler. Uh, how did you find Jay Cutler? Because teammates have Brian Urlacher, other teammates have talked about it. he's so tough to get to know that he's a jerk, he's everything in the world. How did you get along with Jay Cutler? Because you were protecting his butt. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I love Jay. I mean, he was he was always uh, good to me and uh, the rest of us as an offensive line. Um, I mean, I guess I, I was playing good enough to where he didn't slap me over the head or whatnot or anything like that. But uh, I have seen, I mean, he, he has been an asshole to some people that, you know, he just has, like, his few guys that he deals with and then everybody else is kind of like, you know, did he take care of the but game? even they end up not liking him after a while. <laughs> he was good buddies with Scheffler. Yeah, Scheffler ended up hating him. Yeah. 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 Is, I mean, his personality was such in the locker room and whatever. You said he picked out maybe offensive linemen because he depended on you guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why does, I mean, their teammate, outside forces like us, who just found him so impossible to get along with, Les said, and forget me, Les said yesterday, doesn't seem to actually have an emotional, I'm, I'm doesn't care. He doesn't seem to care. I mean, he definitely does have like a nonchalant type of attitude or whatnot. But I mean, the year I was with him, we were pretty solid. I mean, we were top five offense, and you know we were clicking. So he made the Pro Bowl that year. Yeah, that was his yeah, one Pro Bowl year. Yeah. yeah. So um, I, don't know, I didn't have any complaints. So did he buy buy you watches when he went to Pro Bowl? Did he, he bought us uh, suits at the end of the year? Oh, so. custom suits. They were, they yeah. Were nice. Well, we keep trying to find Men's some. Men's warehouse? <laughs> no, no, no. They were custom. <laughs> Three for $100? <laughs> uh, we got into the Bears talk yesterday because it seems like the Bears are, are starting to jettison a bunch of players. Um, and one of the guys th that's rumored to be going is Matt Forte. So we got into this discussion about could the Broncos use the running back, but even if they had a running back of Forte's caliber, would he be able to run for some yardage because the offensive line isn't gelling? If you bring Thank in you. a running back like Matt Forte, uh, the brownie, could he make things happen on his own, or does he have to work in concert with the offensive line? I think it's a combination of both, and um, I think there's times when running backs can, you know, make guys miss and and make the offensive line look good, and then there's times when the offensive line makes the the running back look good. So I think it's, uh, but. That type of running back, I think he can def definitely do both and, and make this a better offensive line than it is right now. So you think it 